It is dark. You can barely see your hand in front of your face. You bring your night vision device up to your eyes and turn it on. Suddenly, in green-hued clarity, the entire scene is like day. Welcome to the new and exciting world of night vision devices. Thank you, and congratulations on your purchase of an AMTC night vision device. We hope this high quality optical device will bring you and your family years of entertainment and joy. In this video, we will cover some of the basic technical information about night vision and hopefully answer any questions you may have. Night vision devices, commonly referred to as NVDs, have become a standard piece of equipment for such applications as home security, boating, wildlife observation, camping, and any other application where seeing in the dark is important. Let's get started with how night vision works, shall we? All Starlight Technology night vision devices consist of several main parts, an objective lens, an eyepiece, a light intensifier tube, and the power supply. This light intensifier tube is the heart and soul of the unit. Your night vision device gathers existing ambient light such as infrared light, starlight, or moonlight through the front lens. This light, which is made up of photons, goes into the light intensifier tube where the light is changed from photons to electrons. These electrons are then amplified to a much greater number through an electrical and chemical process. The amplified electrons are then hurled against a phosphorus screen that changes the electrons back into visible light, which you view through the eyepiece. You will now see a green-hued, clear recreation of the dark scene you are observing. It is important to know that all starlight scopes need some light to amplify. This means if you were in complete darkness, you could not see. To eliminate this problem, we've designed all of our scopes with a built-in infrared illuminator, commonly known as an IR. The IR works like a flashlight for your NVD. It emits a beam of near-invisible infrared light that your NVD can see, allowing you to use your scope even in total darkness. Since the IR works like a flashlight for your NVD, the distance you will be able to see with it will be limited. Please remember that the purpose of night vision is to allow you to see in the dark, not a long ways. The distance and clarity you get out of your NVD should not be compared to daytime optics such as binoculars. Now that we have discussed how night vision works, we should give you an example of what you are going to see. The images you are viewing are actual nighttime shots recorded through an NVD. You will notice the image you see is not as sharp as a daytime scope. This is because you are not just looking through a set of optics, but you are looking at an amplified recreation of an image. It is much like looking at a green tinted black and white television set. As you viewed those images, or as you look through your own NVD, you may notice tiny black spots. This is normal. Your NVD is like a television screen and it attracts dust and dirt. Typically, these spots can be cleaned, and the cleaning procedures are in your paper instruction manual. However, some of these spots may be in the tube itself. This is the natural byproduct of the manufacturing process and is expected. These spots will not affect the performance or reliability of the night vision device. We at AMTC manufacture a wide array of NVDs to include monoculars, binoculars, bioculars, and goggle systems for hands-free usage. Most of our NVDs function in the same basic manner, and the following procedures will apply to all of our units. If at any time you seem to have a problem with your scope, please do not hesitate to call the toll-free line that is shown at the bottom of your screen. 
For demonstration purposes, we're going to use our widely popular Night Star. First, unscrew the battery cap and insert the battery. There is a diagram at the top of the scope that shows which direction the battery should be inserted. After you have tightly screwed the battery cap back on, you are now ready to test the unit. One of the main things you do not want to do is expose the unit to bright light such as daylight without the lens cap on. This lens cap serves as a daylight filter and you never want to use your night vision device in any lighting condition with this cap off. With the lens cap on, bring the unit to your eye and press the on switch. This is either a slide switch or a button marked with an OI. This button or switch is also your off button. When you turn the unit off, it may take a few seconds for the image to go black, which is normal. Once you have turned the unit on, you should see a green image through the scope. If you don't, check the batteries and try again. When you have a green image, you will need to focus the eyepiece to receive a sharp image. We suggest turning the eyepiece counterclockwise until you get a sharp focus. This is your diopter adjustment, and once it is set to your eye, you should not have to adjust it again. Now that you have a clear focus, you are ready to use the unit in the dark. Turn the unit off and wait until the evening or go into a dark area. When it is dark, turn the unit back on and remove the front lens cap. Adjust the front lens focus until you get a sharp image. As you look at objects that are at different distances, you may have to readjust the front lens focus. The more you use your scope, the easier that this will become. Earlier we discussed that you may need to use an infrared illuminator if there was not enough light for the unit to amplify. In the units such as Night Star or Night Storm, the IR is activated automatically when the unit is turned on. On the remainder of our units, you will need to push the control button or slide switch marked IR. You may notice that at a short distance, the IR will cover only 40 to 60 percent of the viewing area. This is normal. Some of our units are fitted with our proprietary smart features. To find out if your unit has these features and how to use them, please refer to your included paper instruction manual. When you have finished using your scope, we suggest storing it in a cool dry area in its carrying case. If you are storing the unit for an extended period, you should remove the batteries. Night vision devices are new to most people, and it may take a while to get used to using one. We suggest you experiment in several different lighting conditions at various distances to get a feel for the capabilities and limitations of your night vision device. And remember, the purpose of a night vision device is to allow you to see in the dark, not a long ways. We hope you found this instructional video informative and useful. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact us at our toll-free customer support line at 888-435-7617. Thank you again for purchasing a quality AMTC night vision device, and good luck exploring the dark.